Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your hump day reading for September 23rd, 2020. This is Bibi Unicorn Tarot on Learning Tarot. So I do tend to use the Essential Tarot. I love the little book. But today I'm going to use a favorite deck called the Dark Mansion Tarot. It's got some interesting pictures. For clarifiers, I am using the traditional Rider weight. And at the end, I'm going to be pulling a Romance Angel Oracle card. Because, of course, who couldn't use a little love? Right, Gemini? So, let's see. What do Geminis need to... Okay, <laughs> I can't even get the shuffle. What do Geminis need to know? Oops. An escapee. <laughs> what do Geminis need to know for their hump day reading? What do Geminis need to know? Oh, we got one card. Let's see. Gemini. Can we get a couple more? Let's see. Hump day reading for Gemini. You have to do the countdown, apparently. Oh, there we go. Maybe another. Oh, and there we go. Okay. Let's see. Well, first, the Page of Pentacles. Look at him. All excited, holding his pentacle. The path is there. Ooh, that's good. That's news. Huh. Strength. Check her out. She's leaning on that big, nasty looking lion like, pfft. he's fine. She has it all under control. I just like to put them up together. So you're being strong about something, Gemini. I think, let's see. And look at that, the Three of Pentacles. Now the Three of Pentacles is about working together. It's about, uh, it can be about teamwork. Um, in many cases, uh, in the traditional Rider weight deck, it's, I believe the picture is like a, a master craftsman. And then the two other people are not necessarily students, but they're apprentices. Uh, kind of like, don't laugh at me. The only thing I'm thinking is I like the electrical union. So this, this guy would be the equivalent of the journeyman. And this would be his apprentices. Sorry. Is there an electrician out there I'm telling this to? I don't know. <laughs> Funny though, huh? So it looks like you're getting some, some news. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Now, as some of you know, uh, there are certain ones that for some reason I just go Bleh. The page is lost. Oh, that one's in. This is the card of the scholar. Hmm. The page has a thirst for knowledge and pursues it diligently. So you... Oh, wow. Are you going back to school and you're in some kind of a group that you need help? Oh, wow. See, if he's learning, he's learning and he's having to be strong. It's not easy. It's tough right now, Gemini, to, to focus on anything, and especially while you're learning. And this, what this might say is, if you need help, ask. Maybe there's a, a counselor that you can call. Maybe there's a mentor. Maybe there's a friend who's been where you are. So here we go. Let's get some cards on this. Because I know a lot of people are doing a lot of changes right now and that would make a lot of sense. So here, can I get a couple cards for, give me a card to clarify the reading for Gemini's hump day reading for September 23rd, 2020. Can I get a clarification card? Give me some clarifiers, please. Some more cards for the reading for Gemini's hump day. Okay, we're not giving them up, are we? Let's do this. Seven, six, oh boy, they're almost coming out. Five, four, three, Two, come on. One. Wow, Gemini. They do not want to clarify. There is no clarifier. 
Oh, there we go. And look at that. Double page of pentacles. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, because I happen to get the page of pentacles also, but in the Rider weight, we're gonna look to see. I'm sorry, I choked on my own saliva. <laughs> That's not good, Gemini. What does the Rider weight say about the Page of Pentacles? Because that's very surprising that I would get both pages. I mean, this is like double whammy of something. The youthful figure looks intently at a pentacle that hovers over his raised hands. Me uh, divin divinatory meanings, application, study, scholarship, reflection. Another reading says news, message, and the bringer thereof. Also, rule and management. So, this to me looks like you're learning whatever it is you're learning. And you're really working at it. I mean, this is not easy. And you, you need to, you, you need help. So, let's say this. We got to clarify. Let's, what's the outcome? What's the outcome of all this studying and learning that Gemini is doing? Okay, a little crazy there. You got it all, huh? <laughs> what is the outcome for Gemini and all this learning they're doing? Now, mind you, learning doesn't necessarily mean you have a book. You could be learning things through YouTube. You could be learning things through a certification course. Learning comes in many forms. And because I happened to mention about the whole journeyman thing, you know, that could be it too. And don't laugh. I'm talking about YouTube and learning and, okay, this is the eight of rods. It's a message and it's a quick moving message. So either you're looking for help and you're going to get an answer, like an email or a phone call, <clears throat> or you're actually learning how to do things on the internet like I am, <laughs> like how to work YouTube, <laughs> And that's so funny because I was researching YouTube tonight. So I'm a Gemini too. So, wow. Awesome. So we're learning and it looks to me like we're getting feedback, which is really good. Who doesn't want that? Especially here. So, okay, Gemini. Let's get us a love card for hump day, September 23rd. A love romance, a romance angel oracle card for Gemini's hump day reading. Whoa. Okay, so we got a bunch of cards, but the only one that flipped over is, ooh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, Gemini, is there somebody that's, you know, it's almost like you've been dating the same person over and over again and you just keep ignoring the red flags or you're one of those people uh, <laughs> who say, oh, it'll change. Oh, they were having a bad day and you make excuses. Be careful because there are red flags and if you don't like what's going on now, you have to question whether that behavior is going to stop or not. Now, I understand in the age of what's going on, there may be a lot of red flags for a lot of people, but it's due to circumstance. But at the same time, when the chips are down, do you want somebody you can count on? So pay attention to the red flags. I would say your romantic life may not be so hot, but I got to say, your work, your business, your future, whatever you're doing, that looks like it's moving. And that's wonderful. So thank you so much for being here. If it resonates with you, Gemini, please leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification. So thank you so much, Gemini. Have a great rest of the week.